we are on our way to a place called Bedford. I've also heard of it before, but never been there. Yes. And it's about a 95 kilometer drive to get there. The That's areas quite a stretch, had, huh? yeah, it is quite a stretch. The areas had quite a bit of rain, and we've got, I think, about 20 kilometers of gravel to do. So let's hope the gravel is fine. It looks fine. So far, yeah. so good. <laughs> Impala? Uh, yes. How beautiful is this? We just went over the cattle grid, so now we're essentially in a game reserve. Yes. How cool is this? Bit of a patchy, potholy, wet gravel road we're on. Quite a large number of potholes, hey, as gravel roads go. Yes, and it's quite slippery. Our host says it's clay. Yeah, it is. You can see that it's a. I can feel the car sometimes slip sliding away. All of a sudden, we're on the tar. But it's, I'm not as, about. it's not much better than the gravel. <laughs> Are you relieved? Yeah, today, after all the rain. Yeah, but it wasn't too bad. If you see bicycles, you must hoot. Yeah, I wonder why. Oh, just for them to know that you're coming. I've never sign. seen a sign yes. like that. Monkeys. They're drinking the water in the yes. road. Stop. That cute one. Look at that. Cute, eh? Yeah, very. Naughty little devils. Look <laughs> <laughs> how they ducking and diving. <laughs> They're drinking the water in the road. Yeah. Eh? That's fantastic. I thought I saw a, a mongoose also cross here. So, definitely some wildlife here. That's for sure. The Great Fish River. Fantastic. And the Carlisle Bridge. Quite bad, oh, eh? This is serious. At speed. Or some damage. Definitely. It's a big wind farm. I'm telling you that they are well over a hundred. For sure. But with our travels, I must be honest, I still don't understand how come there's load shedding because we've seen hundreds of these things. 
and we've seen so many solar farms but yet we still have load shedding and load shedding is just getting worse yeah i, I don't that, that I, just, I don't understand spring bucks galore wow quite a lot here yes. hey yes look at them I'm thinking about 70. Beautiful. There he runs, Blaze Book. Gorgeous and all alone. There he runs. Scared of us. I think we are arriving at Bedford. How's this reservoir? It's got a roof on. looking at the Winterberger. Isn't it? Didn't you mention something about a Quagga? Um, they say Bedford is at the foot of the Kachaberg. Kachaberg. Meaning striped mountain. But I but think, I think the is... mountain range yeah. is Winterhoek. Okay. I and think those folds, like we know the Cape Fold Mountains, they've called it Kachaberg. For the stripes. For the stripes, yeah. That's what I think. Oh, we like being greeted by train oh, tracks. Definitely. Bedford. I know you can't tell me now which road we headed out on, but there are crazy roadworks. Yes. On uh, this road? No, we're not. That's out to Cookhouse and Craddock. This is your first stop. There we go. <laughs> All juiced up. But it's a busy little place, eh? Hold on. Okay. Yeah. He says on Thursdays and Fridays it starts getting busy, people coming home. The guy at the filling station. Yes. Look at this. It's a, calm. Oh, it's a bottle store. Okay. It's a pretty building. It's a little bridge dating back to 1958. Look at this. What by? This year building, yeah. Check at the Standard Bank building. Oh. That is beautiful. Is, eh? Hammered stone, eh? Sure. Post office. Mm -hmm. This is a hotel, I'm sure. The Duke of Bedford. It's quite cool. Yeah, oh, it is, eh? And look at this side by yours. Eighteen ninety nine. It says drapers. <laughs> yeah. But it houses a few businesses now. Nkluba local municipality. Is a musical <gasps> building? Okay, I can fix that up a little. Yeah. But it still looks good. It still looks stunning. Happy to be stuck behind a slow truck. Yeah. <laughs> it's a stop, okay. There's a monument here. You might have to come check that out. Yes.
Where's Big Fig Public Oliver? Library. Oh. J.G. Fall. I read that they um, love their gardens here. They're a very green town. Okay. They even have a garden festival in October every year. Fantastic, eh? I always love to see green. <laughs> yes. Oh, seems to be a busy place. Yeah. We can come and see if they have a few snacks. That I can do. just stripped okay that's it maybe we can go have a look at the church I think we can that church building and the ones surrounding it have been in this condition for such a long time there's no road leading to them anymore yeah it's been a long time you eh? can see there's absolutely no way to reach them mm. i think all these buildings might have been associated with the church yeah. at one at one point the outer fabric yeah, in Bedford.
Okay, let me explain to you all that furniture that you saw inside there gets manufactured here. This is still some of the furniture they've made. Now, this is going to be turned into, this used to be the factory. They've moved out all their machinery into the factory at the back. There they're busy building the stage. This is going to be a venue hall. And um, it's going to be absolutely incredible, I think, when it's done. And the furniture is fantastic that they make themselves. They use yellow wood and black wood mostly. And then sometimes they use, I think it's called ironwood, Eisterhout. This is where the factory is. They've moved it into here. The new owner has owned this for about two years now and he's changed it incredibly because the previous owners were in here for 26 years and they just used to manufacture furniture and he's turned it into this beautiful place. There apparently used to be so much rubbish over here, they've removed it, he's made this little garden here. They're busy building the scaffolding to put up the new logo over there. On Monday apparently they're coming to do the new logo. So they're really trying hard to uplift the Bedford area and they are starting half marathons and it's like wild to see. He's got another lady here who is using this facility. It's called the Art Shack and they do arts and crafts and stuff here. With ceramics and everything. There's nobody here at the moment. But this is where they do it. And he says about 20 people come from the whole district, Bedford, Craddock, Adelaide, to come and do their thing over here. You guess even a, I don't know if you call it a kiln or an oven or what, to bake the ceramics. And now, as Sonia mentioned earlier, that they have these garden festivals every year in October. He's busy converting this whole garden. It used to be like a vegetable patch and stuff like that, but he's turning it into a beautiful garden. Apparently these walls that are plastered, they used to be plastic bottles filled with stuff to make the garden. So he's just plastered them to finish them off nicely. So this is all for his venue. And over there are olive trees.
I must be honest, this is going to be, this is a beautiful place already. This is like an area where they entertain children. I'm busy preparing for someone's birthday party today. Children's birthday party. That's fantastic. Like a serious bra, yeah. Separator. And he's gonna start a nursery as well. You can see he's got plants going here already. How's this? And this is where the nursery is going to be, but they've just stopped now. They're going to redo the, all the netting and clean it up and fix it all up. He's tackled a lot. And yes, a play area for the children. He says so many children come and play here. Check out the restaurant. Interesting stop. You didn't hear when I was speaking to the to Jacques, the, the owner of the place, that this used to be the original school. Oh! Until the new school was built. I think it's called Templeton. And um, the people that were building this road through to East London, because this is the main route through to East London. All right. They bought it over. They started that factory at the back there for the furniture. And um, not for the furniture. They started the factory at the back there to repair their vehicles and stuff that were working on the road. And they built that on to the old school. And then they sold it to the owners he bought from. They started the factory, the wood factory, and they had nothing else here. He's built up this in the past two years to what it is today. This whole garden is theirs. Wow. No, he's worked so hard. So that's why it's called the Eau de Fabrique? Yes. I thought it looks fascinating from the oh, outside. Beautiful. And they've got the restaurant, they've got a kiddies play area. It's like fantastic. And a lot of cars. They're South busy. Obviously have a lot of support. Very busy, yeah. That's fantastic. The Bedford Golf Club, established 1892. <laughs> Let us go and check it out. Beautiful road. Yep. With a single chicken crossing the road. Oh, there's another one already crossed. <laughs> there's a joke about a chicken crossing the road. I can't remember that. 
<laughs> I just know there's a joke about it. There has to be a joke about it. <laughs> this is Porter Street. I think we should continue. I also think so. I think I see it in the distance. So do I. Kind of the road ends there. Okay, that's possible. Um, uh, should be fine, right? Yeah. green areas in Bedford. Definitely do. Okay. So I'm sure it's lush. I can imagine. And you were right. front or on the lush front or on both fronts on all fronts <laughs> <laughs> they might be closed but you can go have a look Sheol. it is gorgeous here look at this mm, love it it's all locked up babe no they're not open now i think it's too wet to play yeah, oh, there's their, look at the water in their rain meter. Fantastic. They've had a few inches over there. It's definitely a couple of inches of rain there, in that meter. Love this golf course, it's really lush. Mm, it's beautiful. But it's all locked up. I see workers far down on the yes. one fairway. Old, hey? Very old. 1892. Wow. That's amazing. Alrighty, clear. Now there was something mounted, I'm sure there was something mounted on this and it was removed. I can't make out what's written there. Fifteenth of October nineteen forty one, Middle East, T du Plessis. I don't know, this must have been some memorial that was taken down, I don't know what it's for. Looks like it's some military guy that passed away in the Second World War, I'm sure. But I don't know what it's about. Something's missing here, that's for sure. And just across from where that monument is supposed to be, is the old public library. It seems to be functional still. Just needs a bit of an paint job but it's beautiful look at this ah oh, look at this Africa day when we were in Grahamstown, we saw the Africa Day. Look at this.
children's library don't often get a chance to get into a library this is an old building here and the smell of books. Fantastic. Nothing. Exactly, it was so nice. He came specifically to open it for me. But nothing beats the smell of books in a library. It was like crazy. It was so, you know, I haven't been in a library in ages. It just makes me list to go back and get some books and read. And um, that's an old library too. Yes, it is. He doesn't know the age. Oh, look at this. You see their gardens, eh? Right. So we can see that, that, that yes. they love their gardens in Bedford. Yes. And this is some park. But it's all locked up, you can't get in. Lots of green areas. Yes. I wonder what this is. Look at the vine. Look at this. Look at the, vine. the colors. How gorgeous. Kempston Group and everything. Okay. There. Offices. Brilliant. Very cool. Yes. Must be the courthouse? Yes, I think so. No. Magistrate Court, Bedford, yeah. Okay, and this old building. <laughs> I haven't been able to find out how the town got its name. Oh, look at this. Yeah, this is all Hope Street. This is all um, original buildings, I think, that the people have oh. refurbished. And the colours. Yeah, Pop. it's quite artsy. Yes. Eh? There is even an art shop. The Duke of Bedford. I'm going to go straight across. The Duke of Bedford says, just like home, only better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I was saying I couldn't find the, the origin of the name. Yes. I've just got a little bit about the, how the town got started, but not really much. Before you get started, look at this. Year of Mercy. There was the name of the church, did you see at the back? Year of Mercy, or was that says? No, name? below that, I think it says the name of the church. St. John's Catholic, Catholic church. church. Okay. Wow, it's cute, eh? It's cute, eh? Look at the bell tower, it's a wooden bell tower. Yeah. Hey, the bell is like on eye level. Fantastic, eh? This is an interesting town. You can just tell, eh? <laughs> this is a town with character. Look at all these red hot pokers. Mm -hmm. And the green, the fact that they love their trees so much, is of course a bonus for me. Oh yeah. Okay, tell me. I don't know, now I need to find it. <gasps> oh no. What? Is this? I've got no idea. It looks, it looks, looks like, like a, a fort. Fortress. Yeah. Oh. Do you think this could be a private residence now? Because there is no signage. Nothing. Yeah, we can't find out what this is, but it must have been some fort. I agree. Yeah. So while you're driving, the town was established in the mid 19th century, they don't say an exact year, when Sir Andres Stockenstrom, that we heard in Makanda, yes. sold portions of land from his farm Maastrum to raise funds for the restoration of his library, which had been burnt by British soldiers mistrustful of his attempts to broker peace. 
in one of the Cape Frontier Wars. Wow, that's interesting. All right, so uh, here yes. is the hospital. Yeah. Look how neat it is. Very, eh? Very neat, and it's a provincial hospital. That impresses me no end. Yep. Me too. This is the Bedford Retirement Village. Okay. Oh. Oh la la. That's the church. How gorgeous. Are these the... What, this must have been the first church and that the newer church. You must be right. Oh, I'm sure of it. I am sure of it. It's a beautiful building. Yeah. The church hall. 1894. On that cornerstone. Okay. It's just written 1894, nothing else. So I wonder if this was the original church and then they built a new one. And they're using this for events and yes. functions. This might have been the first, the original church, I'm sure. A nice retirement village, eh? Hey? Yes. Impressive building, building yeah. now. Still in good shape. Very good. <laughs> what is this? There are two. Two of them, yeah. Yeah, as well. Um. Wow. Let's see. Listen, this was the original church of the this one. Yes, the old bell tower. Wow. I wouldn't want to. Yeah. This was definitely the old church and then they built the new yeah, one there. Yeah, that makes complete sense. And this also has two buildings. There's a bell tower in the, in the middle of the two. There is a board on that building, but I can't see that far. Oh. Now I can't make out what it is. The sun's just in the wrong spot. Very neat churches here sure. in Bedford, hey? I think this is probably also a church and it's hall. Yeah, I think Methodist and Anglican, Anglican is yes. Like that, yes. I would say. This is a 60s design. Big church, eh? Surprising the size. If we say 60s, then we must say 50s. Stop. Seventh day Adventist. <laughs> oh, cute, eh? Oh, gorgeous. Yeah. 
lots of pretty churches in Bedford. And houses. And gardens. And goats. I saw beautiful goats there. Oh, really? Outside of the Oude Fabriek. Okay. And this? Oh, no. It's a little board if you turn right. Church tower, the bell tower. Yes. <laughs> I'm telling you. Presbyterian church. Oh. <gasps> Look at this. Eighteen sixty four. Where do you see that? Do you see the plant pot? Yes. To the left of the plant pot is a loose stone. Oh yes, there, 1864. Crazy. You know what I like is that that stained glass isn't covered with any shields and it's still intact. It looks original. I have no doubt that it is. Look at the old memory wall. Absolutely beautiful. Goodness me. Look at those, it's our vibes. <laughs> Look at this. Bedrock Foundation Community Support Projects. Beautiful, eh? Yeah. You can see those were similar styles. This must be the school. Yes. Now, we can't get closer. That's where the station is. You see the platforms? Oh, is there no way to get to no. us? There's no way. The station buildings are totally gone. Yeah. Absolutely nothing left. Uh, I was talking about these, but they oh, still okay. support for a gate. the track is. You can just see a piece oh, see of the it. track yes, sticking, sticking out, out there. But there's nothing left here. Unfortunately, yeah. usually there are a few remnants for us to go and check out. Yes, but there's nothing. I see some websites refer to Bedford's name as Nyaha, but it does look like the official name still is Bedford. Oh, okay. And not Nyaha. It might be an area in Bedford, I'm not sure. This is school. Is it the school? If we take a drive, here's the sign. Oh, it's the Templeton High, High school. school. Yes. Okay. Is there sports facilities? Oh, rugby fields. Quite a bit of rain here. That's for sure. Well, I think the whole area must have had rain. Yeah. Look at this. This was also old. Yes. Definitely a, a long history. That's for sure. Many old buildings here. But many nice houses. People have fixed the houses up yes, beautifully. Yes, eh? definitely. When they renovate, they do a good job. Yet another town that has blown my socks off. Yeah, it was a surprise, eh? I really didn't expect to find this 
community and town so pretty. They they clearly love the their green environment. Yeah. And I love that so much. Especially with their garden festival that they have in October. Yes. Yeah. It was good to see. 